Dr. Merrill here in the lab at Coates Hearing Clinic to talk about how you pair your Oticon open devices to your phone. First, we're gonna go with the Android cell phone. <clears throat> to get the hearing aids in pairing mode, you have to turn them off by holding the bottom button down for three seconds till you see the red light and turning back on. For three seconds, you will see a green light. You want to do that with both of your devices so that they are now in pairing mode. So turn them on. All right, then you're going to go to your settings first and you're going to find the Bluetooth settings and you're going to scan and the hearing aids will be under your name. So for me, they are under the name Tessa. It will ask you to pair it, so you will say okay, and you will do the same thing with the other one. Once they are now Bluetooth connected to your cell phone, you're going to then go to the Oticon on app. So you'll click that, and it will start to walk you through. <clears throat> so you're going to allow and it's going to try to search for your hearing aids. It might tell you to restart the devices, so we're going to do that again by holding down the bottom button and then turning it back on. And same thing with the other device. And turning it back on. Now it should start to search for your hearing aids. It might take a few minutes as well to look for them. You're going to allow and you're going to allow while using the device. And it may take a few minutes, but they should fit, find them. So there's one of the devices and it should then search and see the other device. And now we're going to pair. And both of your hearing aids are now successfully. So actually it only finds the one because it's, it's used as a pair. So once you have that come up, you should have your pair successfully um, paired to your device. You're going to push continue. And here is your app. The most usable, friendly thing that we want to be able to do is do your remote control. And here all you want to do is be able to control the volume. So you can go up in volume and you can go down in volume. Zero is where we have you set, okay? <clears throat> if you go home, you can check to see your hearing aids and what they are and the battery level as well. You can use this to also find my hearing aids to tell where they are if you have lost them. As you can tell, they are in our office at Coates Hearing Clinic. That is for your Android device. Now we're gonna go to the Apple device and it's a little bit different. So first what you wanna do is you wanna go to your settings and you're going to go to general. And when you go to general, you're then gonna scroll down or scroll and you're gonna go, nope, you're gonna go back out you're gonna to go to accessibility. So accessibility, you're gonna go down to hearing devices 
and it's searching for the devices, you're going to find them. It sees the right one, but not the left. So I'm going to turn off the left and put that back in pairing mode. So it can find both of them. And it lost the right, so I'm going to restart the right as well so that the hearing aids find both of them. Takes a little bit longer to turn the device on than it does to turn them off. Just as soon as you see the green light, you'll be able to turn it on. There we go. So I'll get the phone back on. And you're going to, they're going to search. There we go. It says right and left. And now we're going to pair and pair. Now in here, this app is a little bit different. This is through the actual phone. So you can change, on the iPhone, it, the hearing aids work directly with it. So you can turn the volume up and down on this, as well as be able to adjust them independently. Then if you go to the Oticon Open app, you're going to be able to activate and you're gonna be able to find the hearing aids in control. So allow geolocation, you're gonna do it when using the app, and then they're going. you're gonna see that they're successfully paired, and it will be the same as the Android. So you'll be able to have the control, and you'll be able to find your hearing aids as well. Again, if things do not seem to be working, always restart the hearing aids, and try to then repair. Thanks, have a great day.